Hey guys, today I want to give you an update on the offspring of the mature American chestnut trees. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right guys, here we have the offspring of the mature American chestnut trees. As you can see, it is doing great. If you don't remember, this is a, um, I guess this would be called a double tree. I'm not even sure if it's two separate nuts or if it's the same nut. I mean, it might be two separate ones, but whatever. I'm not messing with it. Obviously not gonna cut the other one off. It's fine for it to grow to be a double tree because obviously we are gonna be growing this for nut production, not like make it super tall. There was two of these, if you don't remember. Sadly, the other one is no more. We went to um, put it in another pot and it didn't survive it. American chestnuts sadly have a much weaker root system than Chinese chestnuts. Chinese chestnuts are very resistant, resilient to like anything. But American chestnuts are not the same, sadly. They are much weaker trees. That's probably why a blight wiped, up, wiped them all out. But this one, as you can see, is growing good. Big leaves, there's some dirt on it, I don't know why. And something for some reason ate some holes in the leaves, but as you can see, we're doing, we're doing pretty good. They're growing good in the window. I'm not sure when I will plant this tree. I think it probably might be better off like staying in the pot for now. Unless I think maybe we could plant it next spring. I think we need to get more growth on it first. Because as you can see, the stalk is still kind of small. It's not like big, big yet. Got plenty of holes in here. I drilled a hole right here so I could feel how wet it is. And yeah, my fingernails are dirty because I'm planting dirt. It's, I've, I've drilled holes in it so I could see how, or cut holes in it so I could see how wet it was right there. Because American chestnuts do not like water. If you have a little bit extra water in them, they start to shrivel up. So that's something I've learned. Chinese chestnuts don't really care. They struggle more with lack of water than they do overwatering. Let's just go over here. She's got a back angle on these little trees, on this little tree. I'm so glad we found this. So now we have the offspring offspring of the mature American chestnuts and considering those two trees lived like 30 years and the one's still going strong these may have those genetics and that's the point of this whole breeding project is to be breeding this one with the ones we bought and I will show you guys the ones we bought soon just as of right now I wanted them to get like more strength and get and look better before I um show them to you so that update should be coming in a little bit also we'll have an update on the um ones I got from West Virginia before this video, you're going to see the one that I tortured. The one on um, hybrid chestnut I tortured. But let's go back to these trees. So, obviously this is the offspring of the mature American chestnuts. That's why what makes it so special. And it's so horribly sad that we lost the other one. But this one seems to be going strong. I don't seem to have, see anything that worries me on this tree. This is one of my best looking trees out of all of them. So, that is very very good so if you're new here the point of this is to breed this tree with other American chestnuts I have bought to produce a blight resistant tree and there's a good chance this tree is blight resistant up to like 30 years because those two are like 30 years old and the one died at 30 years probably around 30 years old I don't know the exact age but they look like around 30 year old trees so who knows but as you can see there's another sprout so this tree's this, this year, this has grown, this has grown this much this year. A little bit of wind, which shouldn't be a problem. I have to get these back in the house because they are not used to the wind. So that's, let's take one last look at these and then I'm gonna go. As you can see, they're doing really good. Got a decent sized pot with them. So they should have enough growing room for another probably next spring make sure it's not oversaturated that's once again that's the big thing with American chestnuts you just got to make sure they don't get oversaturated with water all right guys that's it for this video thank you so much for watching it is obviously awesome to see how well the offspring of the mature American chestnut tree trees are doing sadly we lost that other tree which really hurts our plans but we have, we will be getting hopefully nuts this year from the mature American chestnut trees because of the um, trees we cut around that one smaller tree. So that's not too much of a problem. 
it just sucks because without these trees obviously there would be no project i the whole project is based around the offspring of the mature american chestnut tree preserving their genetics so so happy that this tree is doing good if you haven't watched my last update on the mature american chestnut trees definitely check it out because i explain a lot we go over a lot of things so go back and watch that last update on the mature american chestnut trees but as for this hindering our plans losing one of the trees it, it really doesn't um it sucks obviously but i mean what can you do they trees die but this one's doing great so really glad it's doing good hope you guys will continue to follow this and as always drop a like on this video hit that notification bell and subscribe for more content and as always keep the ledge fed i'll see y'all later